go right now to local 10's Hannah Yeshivi. She joins us live from Fort Lauderdale Beach with the conditions there right now. Hannah. Christian Janice, conditions here at Fort Lauderdale Beach have deteriorated quickly. Quite literally, nobody is swimming. The water is very choppy. Wind gusts are pretty high. Sand is flying everywhere. And lifeguards have already placed these red flags everywhere throughout the beach. High hazard flags signaling dangerous conditions for beachgoers all throughout Fort Lauderdale Beach. Oh, I'm not going. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to risk it. It's windy. Not really perspiring as much as I wanted to, but getting exfoliated from the sand. So I guess there's a plus there. Here at the beach, people are already feeling the impact of Hurricane Helene. Workers are clearing debris that could clog drains. Water pumps are on standby and neighbors are preparing, especially those who live in areas prone to flooding. It's always flooded around here and we get stuck where we can't go anywhere. And it takes a while sometimes for the water to recede, you know, to, to go down. So. Um, basically, we don't have any resources or anything, you know, to help us. Officials with the city of Fort Lauderdale have placed piles of sand open today until 9 p.m. Earlier today, rain and wind creating a messy commute in Pembroke Pines. The big gust of wind that came through. And in North Lauderdale, many people woke up to debris from trees scattered on the ground. I love the ocean. I wanted to come out here and just get a good glimpse before it gets a bit too choppy. We're on a boat, so... We don't have to worry about flooding. But people here are worried for our neighbors to the north and hoping Helene is not as destructive as predicted. And trash collection here could be affected because of weather conditions. If it's too windy, those big trash cars can't get out. And city officials want to spread the word out and let you know to please bring those bins inside if possible. They don't want those to tumble and the trash to spread all throughout. We're live in Fort Lauderdale Beach. Hannah Yashibi, Local 10 News. Well, that's certainly a good reminder there. Thank you, Hannah. And turning now to the conditions and how they're looking in Miami-Dade County. Local 10's Annalise Garcia joins us live from Miami Beach this midday. Annalise. Ladies, so we right now are in the Edgewater area. There is usually a lot of flooding here, but fortunately it's completely dry. The only thing we're seeing is a lot of wind. We can take you over to some videos so you can see what we've seen as the morning has progressed. I do think that the wind has gotten even stronger as the day has progressed, but you can see here gusty winds, choppy conditions on the water. And as you heard already, the National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch in Miami-Dade County. That's in effect until 8 p.m. So this is probably the worst of what Miami is seeing from the bands of Hurricane Helene. Although not anticipating the brunt of the storm, the county is prepping for the worst. We can take you to video of some preparations residents put in place just to be extra safe. Public works team spent the day uh, Wednesday cleaning and clearing out debris from catch basins so excess water can freely drain during the thick of downpours uh, if they come. And over on Miami Beach, residents we spoke with weren't taking any chances either. They're seen here picking up some sandbags and the city of Miami is even designating a uh, or the city of Miami Beach is even designating some parking garages to safeguard cars from flooding. So that's for residents and that's no cost. That's still Friday morning. So again, strong winds expected. And if uh, if you are preparing, just make sure to pick up any loose branches, check your storm drains. Uh, just be aware and keep monitoring this. We're going to keep uh, monitoring ourselves for all of you guys. I'll take it back to you guys.